Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So I guess most of the markets are still looking at news yesterday that um, Turkey shot down a Russian warplane on the Turkish-Syrian border. Apparently the Russian plane had uh, crossed the border by 17 seconds, traveling at 300 miles an hour. Um, and it managed to pierce the, uh, the kind of the border by about 2.3 kilometers, shot down um, on the Syrian side apparently, crashing and one pilot dead, one pilot at least missing. Uh, that's obviously caused a lot of tension in that part of the world there just now. Uh, and the markets doesn't, don't really like uncertainty that much. You can just see the candle that was uh, displayed yesterday, very volatile session, very unusual candle to get one quite like this. Uh, it was like a massive spinning top formation. But nevertheless, US 30 is still above 17,747, uh, which also has a 21 period SMA coming out quite close behind it. So unless there's a serious escalation over there, uh, the markets look to be kind of flatlining a little bit close to uh, this potential support that hopefully will remain in play for any of you equity bulls out there. Moving on to UK 100, again, very strong hammer formation here. Uh, we've had a big spike in gold, big spike in uh, West Texas crude, because um, obviously those, uh, th those products can be quite heavily influenced if there is an escalation in the conflict. Um, between apparent allies as well, but there's it's a bit of a mess in the Middle East right now with uh, with Turkey uh, you know, being, being quite like, closely linked with a lot of um, kind of jihadists in the region, uh, and Russia obviously supporting Bashir al-Assad against a lot of different rebel groups in that area as well. When we look at dollar yen, that's perhaps a telling piece. You know, with the Japanese yen being a big safe haven, dollar yen's reverse course. Uh, and it's heading a little bit lower at the moment. But going back onto the UK 100, uh, this big move here is mainly a commodity turnaround move. It's not really impacted a lot of other sectors. So then looking, looking at Japan 225, uh, failing to break through 20 spot 80, uh, 2087 with any conviction. It's just slowly um, slowing down uh, just below this level. And uh, we'll have to come back to see what happens next. So obviously, the yen is now gaining a little bit of momentum. So you can just see how this is reverse course. We had a particularly negative day there on the Thursday. Uh, that was after the uh, FOMC discussions. And we're just slowly moving lower, perhaps supported by that 21 period SMA with 121 spot 87 being the potential support level. So then jumping onto crude oil, West Texas, you can just see the, the reversal that it's had. Uh, interesting candle on Monday, another decent candle on Tuesday, but just came off a little bit. Um, it was a lot higher earlier on in the session, but things got really tense uh, until we obviously got closer to the end of the session that sold off. So we're having another rechance to try and break through $42 first thing this morning. So then moving on to the yellow metal gold, which uh, so far is, uh, I had a, an okay day yesterday. Uh, again, kind of similar to, uh, to crude, as in it was much higher and then gave up half its gains. And then it's uh, having another retest this morning. Looks to be a short-term failure to break through the tips of these candles with 1,072 being the potential support level still in play. So finishing up with your dollar and GBP USD. So uh, they, the dollar's not exactly giving up the, uh, giving up uh, altogether at the moment, uh, the euro has managed to get a, a bit of a reversal from the lows plumbed there on Monday, where it got just below one spot zero six. Um, it's having a decent day so far today, uh, but we're still very far away from any potential support or resistance. So we're kind of floating in between two ranges right now. So finishing up with GBP USD, uh, kind of a similar picture. We've actually had that retracement now back up to one spot 51.10. So we broke through it yesterday, kind of reversed later on in the session as the dollar gave up some gains. And uh, the sterling is having a, a chance to re-challenge, but it's getting pushed back down again. So one spot 51.10 is potential resistance, one spot 50.27 is potential support. So looking at data-wise today, we've got US durable goods and unemployment data uh, due later on in today's session. And we've got crude oil inventories. Now, crude oil inventories is probably expected to come in at quite a high level because uh, it's um, there has been a lot of storage uh, over the last couple of months. Capacity apparently is getting quite close to, to, to fill. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if this figure comes in quite high as well. Um, and obviously you can get an idea that crude oil is already riding quite high because of the tension in the Middle East. Uh, but that will give you an idea of what to expect today. Fast forwarding on to Thursday, uh, not a huge amount there on the 26th. And then on the Friday, you've got UK house prices, GDP for the for, uh, for uh, the UK, 
and then finishing up with Consumer Confidence Index in Germany at uh, at 12 a uh, 12 p.m. Uh, UK time. So it gives you an idea of what to expect and what markets are currently impacted by those events in uh, in Turkey slash Syria. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever. Make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again uh, tomorrow to find out what happened next.